Hello everyone, and in this video we'll be testing the Firefox Preview, not the Preview Nightly, which we have been testing lately. Hang on, let me see if this is recording or not. Yeah, it is recording. Alright then, so as I say, we're going to have a look at the Firefox Preview, which is a which is a browser which is part of a development scheme set out by Mozilla. Basically, it's an early version of Firefox and people can send their feedback to the Preview app, which can then be used to update its Firefox Nightly, which we'll, we will be testing in another video and the Firefox beta and focus and fast and private browsers. Now before we continue please subscribe because we've got quite a lot of videos coming up so make sure you don't miss out and also like our page which is in the description. So we've got welcome to Firefox preview enable private browsing and it's got sign into Firefox. And this is sort of like a walkthrough tutorial where you can choose your theme. But there is no way you can get rid of it unless you probably add a tab which is what happens so if you want to get rid of that annoying tutorial you better open a new tab but again it would be nice if I had a skip button or a button of that nature let's get rid of that keyboard so we can better have a look at the home page alright then so you've got open tab section. No open tabs. Collect no no open Collect the tabs. things that matter to you. To start, save open tabs to in search or enter add tab. Search or enter address. And it looks as though that you know we saw Amazon early on. It looks as though that it only appears when the keyboard is there, unlike most traditional browsers which actually have a home page. So that is actually very disappointing. Another thing which is disappointing is the location of the address bar. The address bar is at the bottom of the screen and being there you know, puts it at risk of people accidentally catching the home button when they want to type in a URL or if you're using a Chromebook then you can accidentally go into the launcher or the status tray or the notification areas. So again, that needs moving to the top, like most traditional browsers will have it. You've got enable private browsing at the top right hand corner. And you got some more tutorial notices here. Okay, so we've got the menu in the bottom right hand corner and it has highlighted menu so I'm not too sure whether it's the screen reader saying highlighted or the Firefox icon which has highlighted on it. But again, that is that. The menu options start from the bottom instead of at the top which is what it should be and we're going to have a look at the settings quickly before we get on to the exciting stuff so we've got accessibility section but when we've had a look at Firefox preview in the past they don't have a lot such as simplified view and as you can see it doesn't have simplified view which is a bit worrying you got enhanced tracking though 
Add private and browsing shortcut. Site add add private, private browsing, browsing shortcut. Site permissions. Eleven of delete and site browsing data. Delete permission. Browsing data on quit. Off. And you can choose whether you can delete browsing data and on quit, which I suppose isn't too bad if you are, you know, sharing this tablet between members or you know people. You don't want them to keep their browsing data. You can decide whether it goes or stays. Okay, so open tabs, home, back, button, home, Firefox preview, row seven, col Firefox preview. Hang on. Open tabs, enable. Okay, so I'm not too sure whether you are aware, but we have tested Firefox preview before probably on another device I'm not too sure whether I mentioned that in a video and while you might think that why are we testing that again the reason why we're testing browsers again and particularly on the Fire Tablet is if you do decide to play YouTube videos in a browser and not the YouTube app the speakers some browsers don't give you the full potential of the speakers which you know therefore can be a bit of a downside especially if you like me like a full rich deep uh, tone from the speakers now the browsers that do give you your full potential from the speakers so far are Opera Mini Beta however there might be more so we're not going to say that is the only one so far but that, that, that's the only one that we have found out of quite a few that we have tested so far and we want to see whether this is one of them or or not search your en search your another enter. twist to the video search, is search your enter address. that we'll be playing a Double tap to edit. video your, from an on-demand site just to see whether this Fill browser Amazon has a built-in flash player or is capable of playing videos from non-youtube sites so we'll be watching salvage hunters firefox button but firefox preview is blocking trackers on back Hook back F button 13 firefox back back firefox preview is blocking trackers on this site when the shield is purple Tap it to see what's blocked. Back. Okay, so it's just popped up with a block notice. Deep lay low. We and our partners process moral acceptance. Deep lay logo. Get one of these cookie Back. notices Sandwich. first. S for play button. And let's click Pause. play. Pause. Play. Play. Loading. 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 Let's turn this Loading. speech off first. All right then. I do apologise for that. All recent applications dismissed. Let us conclude this video. Now, in summary, the Firefox preview is quite poor, quite frankly, for a number of reasons. First of all, when you open the Firefox preview, the tutorial is a bit hard to get rid of which means that you have to open a new tab just to get rid of it when you do open a new tab you are immediately presented with the keyboard along with some pages such as Amazon and that but as soon as you make the keyboard disappear the pages disappear with the keyboard itself so therefore there's no solid home page like a traditional browser the address bar is at the bottom meaning that it can easily be caught when you are wanting to type a URL and overall if you want to go for a Firefox browser I'll suggest you go for the Firefox fast and private however if you want to play YouTube videos in a Android browser on your Fire tablet Opera Mini Beta is the browser for you well, I hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching Stay tuned for more videos to come and we'll see you soon.